Hello and welcome to another one of my pipe drive and Asana training videos. Today I want to talk about how you can use pipe drive and Asana together and how you can integrate the two to create an optimized sales and project management workflow. Uh, so I've been using these two tools, Pipedrive and Asana, alongside each other for about three years, probably over three years by now, for my own consulting business. And I feel that as a result of using these two tools together really well, I'm far more efficient and organized and just uh, much more effective in my business uh, at providing my service and just being organized because I'm, I've got two very clear tools that have very specific purposes. And with the experience that I have consulting with hundreds of clients over the last few years on Asana and Pipedrive individually, I'm finding it's becoming a lot more common for Pipedrive and Asana users to kind of um, start using both of these tools for sales and project management. So people are starting to use both tools together quite a lot. And so today I want to talk about what each of these tools does and how you can integrate the two together. Now, if you need any help at the end of this video, please leave me a comment below. I am also a registered uh, Asana certified pro and I'm a Pipedrive integrations partner. So you can use the link in the descriptions below to book a, an introductory call with me to learn more about my one-on-one -on -one consulting services. And if you are new to Pipedrive, you can see details in the description below. You can use my partner link or code to extend your trial to 45 days. Right, so let's get into it. First of all, let me start with Pipedrive and explain what this tool is. So I'm in my demo account here. Pipedrive, for those who are not fully aware, is a sales CRM tool. So similar to other tools like Salesforce or HubSpot, the difference is that Pipedrive is a lot more affordable. It's also very simple, very easy to use, and a lot more visual as well. So here in my, we can see my pipeline, the different stages, the journey of my sales process, and I can see two deals here that I'm managing through that process. So basically, at its core, Pipedrive is what allows you to track the leads that you have coming in and track them through that process as you try and sell them your product or your service. Now, Pipedrive does have some activity management built in. It has this activities page where you can schedule reminders to email or follow up with your clients throughout that sales process. So from that point of view, there is a bit of crossover with Asana, which is also a task management tool. However, uh, Pipedrive, the activities in, Asana, in Pipedrive are all about managing the follow-up with potential clients, whereas in Asana, that's all about uh, tasks and projects that you're actually executing on. But there is a little bit of crossover there. And I should also note as well, basically every deal in Pipedrive, this basically represents a, a transaction that you're doing. So sometimes you might have a client who approaches you to do project A, let's say John Smith here, we're doing a deal with John, and we might win that project, that's going to count as maybe $3,000 worth of revenue. We're going to go and do that project in Asana, which I'll talk about. And then when he comes back, maybe he comes back six months from now and we do a second project, that's going to be set up as a brand new deal in pipe drive. So in summary, pipe drive is for managing that sales process right from when the lead contacts you all the way up to this stage here where you are basically getting that commitment from the client up until when they commit and pay. That whole process is managed in pipe drive. Then we can switch over to Asana. Now Asana, this is a project and task management tool. So I've had great results with clients who basically use it to track all the tasks and all the projects, not just client work, within their business. And it's great for showing who's doing what and when is it due. It creates massive amounts of transparency and accountability around all the work that teams have going on. I use it to track my client work as well. And so in Asana, there are a number of ways you can set up your clients. You might have the whole client as a team, you might have the client as a project, or in, in my example here, I have my clients set up as tasks. And so the method you choose, there's obviously pros and cons of each. I'm not going to get into that today, but feel free to contact me if you want to learn more. Um, but yeah, so in, in Asana, I'm using Asana to manage basically the process after a client has committed to working with me, managing that process of me delivering my service and working on that project with the client. So here we can see tasks related to onboarding uh, and working with the client and then some support tasks as well. So basically Asana is fulfilling the role of the whole, the second part of that, uh, the second half of that interaction with the client after they've signed up to work with you. Now it's actually working with them and delivering on your, the product, the service, whatever it is that you're selling. So that's very much how I see the two tools fitting in. So in summary, Pipedrive is everything from when the potential customer contacts you up until when they kind of sign up and agree to work with you and, and maybe make payment. And then Asana really takes over during that project management um, phase. 
So you can see there's a very clear cutoff between where pipe drive ends and Asana begins. Now, the reason you want to might want to use these two tools instead of an all-in-one solution, there are other CRMs out there that have project management built in. However, I describe Asana and Pipedrive as specialist tools. Asana is fantastic at task and project management. And likewise, um, Pipedrive is fantastic at sales. And so rather than choosing a tool that tries to be a bit of everything, these tools are very good at what they do. And so by integrating the two, we can, we can kind of benefit from the fact that we're using two different specialist tools. The other thing as well is a lot of people are just attracted to the simplicity of Pipedrive. It's very simple and easy to use. It's a lot more affordable than other CRMs. And people are often attracted to the simplicity and the ease of use of Asana. So yeah, you could go with an all-in-one solution that has project management and a CRM built in. But if you do like the appeal of Pipedrive and Asana separately, we can integrate the two together, which is what I'll talk about now. So when integrating the two, Generally, uh, like I said, the cutoff for when pipe drive finishes and Asana begins is generally when a deal is won. So when I win that deal, now pipe drive is done, we finish the sale. Now, there's basically two ways we can integrate pipe drive and Asana. So if I go to my integration options here, the first option is to use the built in the native Asana integration within pipe drive. So on this screen here, uh, this is in beta at the moment. But you can see we can specify the event. So for example, when a deal is won um, in a specific pipeline, we can set up either a task or a project in Asana. And I can copy across, you can see down here, important information like the contact details of the client, the deal value, that type of thing. And I can basically quickly set up a blank project. And so the advantage of using this native integration is it's very simple. It's built into the account. There's nothing extra to pay for. And it's just a very quick way of integrating the two tools. However, the limitations of this, as you can see, we can't really set up any tasks in the project and we might maybe limited on what information we can copy across. So the method that I choose to use, option two, is I actually use Zapier to integrate Pipedrive and Asana together. And so with that, when the deal is won, I can do um, some extra customization that the Pipedrive integration can't do. So for example, I've got some custom fields here. And so you can see I've put my deal value in here. I've filled in the client status based on the revenue model in my Pipedrive account. Even this list note here has come from a custom field. And the most uh, useful part is creating these subtasks. So the native integration can't do this, but with Zapier, I can basically program a template into my Zap. And so I can automatically generate a list of tasks that I need to do for each client. So things like onboarding the client, support um, terms, things like that. So obviously uh, it is a much more customized way of doing it. You need to have a bit of experience with Zapier and you do need to pay for a Zapier account. But for $20 a month, I think the cost is well worth it for the extra customization that you get. So there you have it. That's my sort of take on how to use Pipedrive and Asana, how and why they work really well together and some tips to get you started on integrating the two together. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this video.